Well, good morning, Quirky Birders. It's Lynn here. And um, as promised, um, I did promise you an extra um, bonus video um, for reaching over a thousand um, participants on the Quirky Bird page. So I'm absolutely thrilled to bits. And um, so, yeah, so this is your bonus video. So I'm just going to do this lovely um, little sloth picture for you today and the line drawing is available for you all. Um, what we're going to do is um, you need to draw out your little sloth picture um, to begin with and then just put a very very light wash. Um, I've got a very very pale um, brownie beige colour um, that I've put down um, as a background. And then we can start to apply some colour. So the first thing I'm going to do is pop in some of the facial features of our little sloth. So we're just going to do the top of his head. And this will just be, like I say, a base colour and then we'll build from there. So I'm just going to take away some of that pooling paint. And use the same colour for his little eyes. Now you need to make sure that your background is completely dry um, before you start to paint. Otherwise the darker colours are going to run into your lovely pale pastel background and you don't want that to happen. This design is almost quite monochromatic really because we're just going to be using shades of brown with a little bit of green. And just take some of that excess water away. So once you're happy with the facial features of your little sloth, what you then can do is just using a similar colour brown, is put in some details on the tree. So just doing the tree, I'm going to keep the brush strokes all directional, all going in the same direction. And I'm quite happy if my paint is heavier and denser at one end and then it runs out, that's not a problem. Again, just apply a base colour and then we'll build using a little bit of glazing on the trees. And we'll just do the same on this one here. Add a little bit more water if you want the paint to move a little bit better. And then we'll just do in between his little his little pulls. and then come along the edge of the tree, just over the top of his head, just being careful again with that paint. Then 
lovely. Now that looks pretty much all one colour. Um, obviously we're going to have to build the depth of colour and some of the tones and shades so that's not a problem at all. Um, but what we now can do is we can put a little bit of colour on our little sloth here. So I've got the brown that I've used for the tree and to that brown I'm just going to add in a little bit of yellow and I just want to get a lovely sort of honey colour. add a little bit of white to it if you want it to just to tone it down if you don't want it quite brassy you just want it nice and soft and then we can paint our little sloth again just being careful if we've got wet, wet paint around that tree It's got a lovely golden tone which is really quite nice. Just add a little bit more water to the brush to get that paint moving. And you want some nice lighter patches because that just helps with regards to the um, the shading and gives your picture a little bit of depth so that's quite nice to see. Okay, so once we've got our base colours in place we can now start to build um, a little bit more depth. So again, I'm just going to use a little bit of the brown. And then we can just add a little bit more details to the trees. You don't want to do a full top coat, you just want to keep it nice and shaded. Some darker ones work too because then we'll be putting in the the details of the branches so that's absolutely fine. And then we'll just work a little bit on the, the bit in between his paws. And then again. Add some details to the little branches. Some darker bits to the ends. And then repeat the process for the one on the top. Okay, so 
we'll just let that dry and we'll come back and we'll work on the facial features again of our little sloth. Just apply that second full coat so you've got a nice covering on his little face. And then what we can then do is we can just mix another little bit of the, the tone of the yellow and the gold for his fur. So just add a little bit of white just to take that brassiness edge off it. And then we can put another little bit of glazing around a little sloth. Just bring the colour round over his back. Under his belly. Okay, now what we need to do is we just need to um, put in a little bit of a darker shade on the rear legs of our little sloth. So we just need a little bit of darker, more depth of colour on our two little rear legs like that. And then we can just apply another little bit of interest and detail on our little trees. So again we'll just put in some darker colour just towards the bottom. And along the top of this one. It can be quite nice just to work sort of monochromatically so we're just tones and variants of just the one colour and you do get some really quite nice results to be honest. Lovely. So what we now can do is we can just add in a couple of little leaves um, just to add in some a different colour, a little bit of green. So I've got my lovely forest green here and I'm just going to um, just put in just a couple of little leaves, leaves. So just freehand paint, just a couple of little shapes. Put 
white one on the end of that branch there. And of course we will be adding in the um, ink details. So once the ink details have added have been added, they're going to provide us with the little stems. So we'll just do the same on this little stem here, only I'm just going to do some little, just little dashes. And the same up here. We'll just put some leaves on this little branch. Okay, now that just needs to dry. Um, and then once it's dry, we can then add in some of the um, the ink details. So um, I'll be back in a little while once it's dried and we'll carry on. Okay, so um, I'm back again. Um, my little painting has now dried um, and now we can start adding in some of the um, lovely ink details. And if you've been with me um, for a little while, you'll know that it's at this point that the uh, the magic happens, so to speak. So let's make a start by um, just putting in some of the details of the little of the tree. And the branches. And what you want to do is you just want to just put a little bit of some lines, just some random lines, just as a little bit of scoring to give you the suggestion and the hint of bark on the tree. So we'll just attach those little leaves. And then I've got this little wavy one here, so I'm just gonna pop that in. And then the other ones can sit just behind. And then we'll just go around each individual little leaf. I think this is the part of the um, the painting that I do just find the most relaxing. I really enjoy this bit. And then we need to do the same again on this this one here. Okay. And then let's just pop in our little sloth. Some little lines for his little paws.
can do his little his little eyes. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I froth my throat. Join up around his head. Just pop his little eyes in. And then you can just put like a little sort of a heart shape for his little nose. And then we can carry on with the leaf details. So just put those lovely little palm leaves. And then carry on with the tree. And just put just a couple of little little lines. Just, just to um, simulate that little bit of bark on the tree. And then we can just carry on with the little tree at the top. So again, just putting those lovely li little bits of fern-like leaves on there. really is quite effective when you um, just add in these ink details it looks quite quite attractive And then we'll just add in the, the shape of the tree. Oops. And again, we'll just pop in some of the, the lines for the bark. And 
Okay. Now what I thought would be nice is I thought I would use um, just the Sharpie and just put in some little sprigs of berries. So just start by putting in just a couple of little lines and then you can use just your metallic Sharpie and just pop in just a couple of little sprigs of berries. I'll just add a couple of lines from here. I'll just add just one more sprig. What's nice to do is if we just add in just some um, details, let me just grab my, you just need a black ballpoint pen, that's what I'm on the hunt for at the moment. I've got one somewhere. She says. <coughs> Maybe in luck. Let me just check. That's black. Using just a normal black ballpoint pen, you can then add in some secondary details to your your bark. It's a little bit finer than your fine liner pen, and you just then want some little scratchy lines. You can bring some colour up to the up the leaves. adds to that texture and the quirkiness of the tree. Like so. And then what you can do, just using your ballpoint pen, because this design will take it, is just do another secondary line around your little sloth. Similar to how you did the robin. And then he can go round his little head again. Like so. So we'll take away the, um, the tape and you'll notice that what I've actually done is I've actually taped over the paper. So I've got this lovely little bit of negative space um, so the picture sits within. And where you've applied the, um, the lovely pastel wash, it may have looked really pale um, when you first applied it but actually when the white of the paper is showing um, it really does stand out so let's just continue to peel the tape away and this is actually frog tape that I've got here that I'm using be very very gentle and that just peels away. Now what I thought would be nice is that we can add, I'll just put that away again now, we can just add um, a little bit of um, writing along the, the bottom of the design. So I've just got my 
ruler here. So I'm just going to pop my ruler just down at the bottom there. And then I'm just going to write the words hang in there. It seemed appropriate. Seeing as we're going into new restrictions and what have you. And then we can just sign the picture off. And there you have it. A little fun, cute illustration of a little sloth hanging on a tree. So um, hang in there, everybody. And, um, and I'm sure um, we'll get through all these latest um, lockdown restrictions and what have you together. I hope you've enjoyed this fun little video. Um, please do share your work to the page. I'd love to see what you come up with. But do enjoy and, um, and I shall see you again very, very soon indeed. Goodbye. Thank you.